Hello everyone, this is Chris Hickman from Decision First Technologies. I wanted to talk to you a bit today about the Design Studio application and the ability to connect to universes from a BI platform through the Design Studio application. Uh, I'm a big proponent of the sap.com slash learnbi site. So if you go to a web browser, type in sap.com forward slash learnbi, all lowercase here. It'll take you up to a website that gives you tutorials on learning all the tools in the BI suite at the BI Forex platform. So if you scroll down a little here, you'll see that the Forex platform is listed here with all the applications. So if you want to learn more about the applications like Design Studio we're going to talk about today, uh, just click Design Studio and it'll show you a series of inter interactive videos and also YouTube videos that you can learn all the different aspects of the application that you choose. And you can also see here that we also outline what's new in different versions, so like 1.1 and also 1.2. So what we're going to talk about today is this line right here, connect to a universe uh, data source through Design Studio. But the whenever I started working with this a little while back, I, I went into the application, but I didn't see a way to actually connect to a platform. So what I want to show you is just how do you connect to a platform before we move into actually building a dashboard based on a universe. So here I'm going to go into SAP Business Intelligence, into Design Studio, and I'm going to pick Design Studio. So we're going to launch in here. And so whenever the interface comes up, we're going to see the standard interface, and I'm going to try to add a data source. But the problem with that is I can add a HANA data source, and I can also add a, a BW or a NetWeaver data source, but I have no way of adding a, a universe data source or a platform data source. So uh, you go into your preferences, and that's where we update our preferences to be able to connect to an application. So if I create an analysis application here, and I just give it a random name, and I call this uh, connection test or contest, and click next, uh, just do a blank connection here, or a blank template, just do a blank uh, layout. I'm going to go down to data sources, and right click and pick new here, and browse. You'll notice I don't have any connections. I haven't connected to a repository. I have no way out of, I can't see my universes. I have no way of connecting. To connect to a platform, what I do is inside of the application, just go to tools and go to preferences. And then here in preferences under the application design section, we have this preferred startup mode. And in preferred startup mode, we have local mode, which is what we're in now. We're just working with data sources we have created, HANA, uh, BW data sources through the SAP logon app, and then uh, just being able to connect to those data sources and create local universes. We also have the Business Objects BI platform, which is what we're looking for, but then also SAP NetWeaver. So in this case, I want to connect to a BI 4.1 Service Pack 3 platform. So I'm going to go to BI platform and hit OK. And you'll notice a pop-up comes up that says the change of the startup mode uh, takes effect after the next restart. Do you want to restart now? We'll go ahead and restart the interface here. And so I will wait for this to restart. So it's shut down, it's gonna come back up and load up. And then we'll have a login screen here in just a moment that's gonna let us log in. And that's gonna connect out to our repository. So we'll give it a moment here to load up. Uh, it's important to notice that we have release 1.2 here. So if you don't have release 1.2, go out to the service marketplace and download it. Okay. So now here's my, my BI platform connection here. You can see it, uh, before I've typed in my name and I'll put in my password here. This is my Active Directory password. The web service URL here is gonna be standard. So everything from DSWS Bob JE services session, that's all standard. So you'll just type that into your session or into your interface. This would be particular to your environment. So type in the name of your server. Uh, in this case, the name of our server is BOE41. And then you would type in a colon 8080 if you're using the standard Tomcat port. Or in this case, we changed our standard port from 8080 to port 80. And so by default, that's what's used. I can leave it off. So BOE41 slash DSWS Bob JE slash services slash session. The authentication type here is WinAD. If you click the drop down here, you see all the valid authentication types are available here. Uh, so I'm just going to pick AD here. And I'll hit OK. So now this is going to go out to the repository. It's going to try to connect as, as the ID that you typed in. 
it's going to pull back all the semantic layers, all the UNXs that have been published to the repository that you have access to see. All right. So here I'm going to create a new analysis application. And again, we'll call this contest, or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, this is asking me where do I want to save it. I'm going to click Browse here. And so you'll notice whenever we go to Browse, this is going to bring up my listing of favorites and my public folders that are published to the repository. So I'll just publish it out to the root of favorites and hit OK. Uh, the name is fine. I'm not going to put in a description. You can target a specific device here. So a desktop browser is fine. If you're developing this for an iPad or an iPhone, uh, you can pick those target devices as well. So here I'm just going to pick desktop browser and hit next. And I'm just going to use a blank template. Uh, you can use the desktop template here, or if you pick iPhone or iPad, there's the built-in templates for those too to give you really nice looking wrappers for your mobile applications. So in this case, it'll just be blank, and I'm going to hit finish. <clears throat> All right, so now our application is being created. So now we have a blank application here. Uh, here's my canvas. It'll come up here in just a second. So over here on the bottom left side where we have our outline, I can go over and pick data sources and now right click and pick new and then hit browse. Now you'll notice I have a listing of all of the connections that I have through my repository. So you can see some of the connections to our HANA system through OLAP, uh, more HANA connections, I don't have any BW connections here. Uh, but you see I've got a bunch of UNX files here, UNX semantic layers that have been published to the repository. Notice there are no UNVs, so if you have any UNVs and you want to use those with Design Studio, you can open up the information design tool and convert those to UNX. So I will scroll up and I will find my Expo Sales universes. I'm not using eFashion in this case, so pick Expo Sales and hit OK. And now we have this edit query specification. This is where I can build my, I can bring up my query panel for my universe. I can pull in what objects I want to bring in from the universe and, uh, and use those as my existing data source. So right now it's reading the universe, it's pulling in the objects that I have access to. And it'll pop up a query panel here in just a moment. All right, so here's our query panel. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pull in, say just pull in year and month here, and then go to measures. I'm gonna pull in, say, uh, gross sales and net sales. And we also have our query filters. If you're familiar with the query panel and business objects, this is very familiar across the crystal tools, um, Webby, uh, it's just sort of the same interface, dashboards if you use dashboards. And then down here is our data preview. I can hit refresh if I'd like to see what the data is going to look like so that we can pull in the data and pull in 200 records from that data set and just see what the data looks like. So there's my data. Oh, let's just put in a, um, a sort here on year and month. I'm going to do an ascending sort and add a sort based on year and month and ascending order. And then whenever I refresh this, it'll take a couple of seconds to come back. It's going to pull back my year and month, my gross sales and net sales in date order by year and by month. I'm going to hit OK. All right, so now there's my specification. I'll call this uh, yearly sales and then hit OK. All right, so now there's our data source. And now I can pull out my components. So I'll pull in a chart here. And I'll assign my data source. We'll pick DS1. All right, so now there's gross sales and net sales. I can go down here and modify Expo Sales, do a right click and hit Edit Initial View. So we can change the initial view of this data from just the two columns, which is going to be our two measures. So I can change that from columns over to whenever I get my listing here under Expo Sales. So we have year and month for rows. Now we have year and month, hit OK here. And you'll see how this affects the dashboard. So there's a lot of data in here. I can go in and manipulate this if I'd like. I can change the chart type from a column to a line. If I want to modify this. Uh, so I can manipulate this however I'd like. I could also do a swap axes. So there we are. So we can see how those two play together. And then I could go in and drop in a cross tab and then publish this out because now if I want to save this, I can pick save here. And it's going to pop up a save dialog. Actually, it saved this back to the repository. So now I'm going to go into my BOE repository. And I'll just launch 
straight in here, BOE41, BOE, BI. And I'm on a virtual machine here, so it doesn't recognize my Active Directory account. I'm just going to log in here and go into my favorites. And there's contest. I can do a view, right click and view. And it's going to show my dashboard. Keep in mind, this is just a one line chart here. So it's going to show my dashboard right here. And I can move through. So now you see how we can continue building this, building this out. Since this is a design studio application, we can make this available on the mobile device. That's very easy. All you do is just right click, go to mobile properties, tell it to, to display it on mobile, save and close, and then do a right click, go to categories, and then go into corporate categories and pick mobile and hit OK. And now I can go grab my iPad, open up the, the SAP BI application, and contest will be available, and it'll look on the mobile app, on the mobile device, just like it looks here on my desktop. So that's how you connect to. That's not only how you connect to a universe, but that's also how you configure your Design Studio application to connect to the application uh, to the the BI platform. So make sure you go into Preferences, set the BI platform as your startup mode, and then restart your application, and you'll be able to connect to your. Um, uh, your BI platform. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on Twitter at chickman72, that's C-H-I-C-K-M-A-N-7-2. Uh, feel free to tweet me, ask me any questions you've got about this. Looking forward to chatting with you.